So much like all of you out there, Crash Bandicoot was one of my favorite games growing up, and I remember just having a ton of fun getting all the boxes and trying the time trials, but never actually getting them done. Now that I'm older, I went for the Platinum Trophy in Crash Bandicoot, and let me tell you, it was harder than I thought. I was dying over and over, kind of like this right here. Oh, uh, uh, what? Or like this right here. All right, this is the hardest part. A few moments later. Oh my god. Now, in order to get the Platinum Trophy in this game, there's really four stages to it. Stage one is to enjoy and complete all levels. Now, stage one is enjoyable, but the rest of the stages are far from it. Next comes stage two, collect all gems and keys. Honestly, this one, it really isn't too bad either, and you get most of the gems along the way anyways, or at least I did along the way playing the main story. Step three is miscellaneous trophies, and those really aren't too difficult either. Some of them are just spinning an enemy into another enemy or just dying a certain way. And you kind of get this accidentally, honestly, while just playing through the game there's one that i had to actually go for and that was coco spin defeating five enemies but that really was not too difficult and then stage four is the reason why getting platinum on crash bandicoot was one of the hardest things i have done so far in my life and that's no joke it really is one of the hardest things i've ever done in stage four you have to earn the time trial relics those are not easy you only need gold or better the relics go up to platinum and you don't need platinum on every level which is very nice i'm glad they did that because there's a couple levels in crash one that really were not designed for kids i don't care what anybody says it is not designed for kids and stage four is where the majority of my time went getting this platinum trophy and it only gets harder from here for the rest of the crash games coming into this video i've already completed stages one two and three that's the boring and easy parts stage four of course like i said is where the hard part begins and that's where where we'll start here let's go ahead and recap where we are right now but looking at what we've done in the game already so of course you beat the game the normal way to get some of the trophies a lot of the trophies actually so it says we're at 100 along the way you get all these colored gems too which have their own trophies i believe in 26 of the clear gems and then at the bottom right corner there the relics 20 out of 26 there's only 26 levels in this game that you have to speed run or you have to do the time trials seven of them platinum and remember the trophy said gold or better you don't even need the platinum on all of them so three of them i have sapphires so really we need nine more gold relics i kept getting stuck on the one hardest level in the game and we're gonna leave that until last so real quick i want to go over the levels that we still have to complete a better time trial on here is the lab the one of the last levels in the game and i have the sapphire time relic on it i need to get gold or better the next one is the high road absolutely the hardest level in the game i don't care what anybody says i don't care what people say online they probably agree with me honestly because this level is ridiculous the hardest level in the game probably going to be the last one that we do that level by the way is the reason why this game took me four years years to complete the platinum and that is not an exaggeration i show proof at the end of the video four years next up we have generator room i've tried it before we have sapphire we have to do better on this one and we will we'll get that done heavy machinery i hope some of these levels are bringing back some nostalgia for you guys just the level names or maybe not nostalgia but maybe some some torture and pain you know unlock some memories they're deep in there i don't know we have to do sunset vista i got the key there of course but no relic haven't tried it yet little did i know man sunset vista would end up taking me the most time out of all the levels remaining so it ended up being the hardest one it's also the longest level out of all of them left it's like four minutes long which is ridiculous for a time trial in which you cannot die the entire run it took me hours and hours to complete this level a road to nowhere which i think is like the high road but easier i should probably do this one second to last to kind of get into the rhythm of things these levels are the ones that are in the sky on the on the bridges in the sky that you just fall off temple ruins early on i haven't done that yet the lost city haven't done that yet and then i believe last but not least native fortress so we will start here and start working on these time relics nine levels to go until the platinum trophy i apologize we kind of skipped most of the game here but really the most of the game is straightforward it's just it's the time relics that takes the longest part of this game so this is pretty much where the death montage starts so I don't know why, but I spent hours on this level and I didn't even get the mask in the beginning for like two hours or so until I realized I should probably get that mask. It's all right though, I ended up dying several times, including on this run right here. Why did I make that face and react like that though? And then after this, I died. And then I died again and probably died some more. And eventually I got to uh, some parts with some platforming, some serious platforming, and I just kept on messing up and this happened several times as well.
But eventually, I made it for my first relic. Two thirteen. Gold! That's good enough. I was so focused. That took me like half an hour. I don't even want to put in my initials, bro. Like, that took like half an hour. That took way too long. Luckily, the next two really weren't too difficult. I got them done pretty quickly, short after that first one. And uh, one of them I even messed up a little bit and I got platinum. So I was, I was a little bit surprised. Oh my God, I just finished it. I was so locked in. Gold, let's go. That one did not take me as long as the other one. Come on, 125, come on. Platinum, and I messed up? And I messed up? Oh, I'll take it. Now that was definitely not hard at all. It was at this moment that he knew. He f So the next level is the first of two sky bridge levels. These levels I absolutely despise. There are bridges in the sky in the middle of nowhere with holes in them. How did it get this bad? How are the bridges missing this many planks? Why are there hogs running through them? I don't know. All I know is I died plenty of times and I started talking myself through it. All right, this is the one. I'm just going to beat it right here. Like I'm, I'm tired of losing this. I'm just going to go ahead and win it. Um, it's that simple. I'm going to go ahead and win it. Okay, never mind. I'm getting sick and tired of dying on this level here. And this isn't even the hard bridge one, which is crazy. I'm getting sick and tired of it. How was this game made for kids? I'm going to go ahead and win it right here. I just decided I'm just going to go ahead and win right here. It's the third hog that messes me up. He's killed me like every time. That's the furthest I've gotten on the time trials is the third hog. Right after the ice section. Here, I'm just going to take it slow. You know, just take my time. I only need gold. I don't even need platinum. Oh my god, I've been taking my time. Why did I jump there? I jumped so far. Come on. So about 10 minutes later, this happened. Oh my god. Oh my god. 15 that, That's got to be... Yes! Oh, that took so long. That took so long. And there's only five more. Oh my god, it's the middle of the night. Middle of the I mean, I should I say middle of the night. It's 12 20 a.m. right now. This is ridiculous. So from here on out is really when I started getting stressed with each level. It got so bad that I turned my camera off for this level. This level's the last level, by the way. It's called the lab. And I ended up watching a guide to learn that I can run through these lasers right here. That's insane that you can run past that. That is actually insane. But of course I died. I died again. I even died at the laser in which I already passed the first time. So after a few more minutes, this happened. All right, that's enough for gold. That's enough for gold. That's enough for gold. I think, I think that's enough for gold. That's four seconds quicker than I've ever done it before. Load, hurry up, what's going on? No, don't restart. That's not gold. I was literally one second too slow for gold. That is insane. Eventually, I turned my camera on and this happened. Of course, after a lot of practice. Oh my god, that's it. That's, that's gotta be it, right? Was it 56? I think it was 50. Yes! That was actually easier than the last levels, though. But god, yo! Was that like four more?
Look at how much time I waste at the end of this next level. I was a few seconds off of the gold relic, and if this didn't happen, I would have gotten it. Go! Is that good enough? That's not good enough, is it? It didn't give me a gem or a relic. It's not good enough. I think I was just tired there, so that's why I just stopped and, and missed out on the relic by a few seconds. After about 20 to 30 more minutes, I eventually got the relic. Oh my god. The damage there for no reason. I don't even remember the time I need. I don't remember the time I need. I missed the... I missed the one second, I missed the one second, I missed the one second. Yes! Oh my god, that level was frustrating. I don't even remember how many more I need, but that level was frustrating. The answer to that question is three. I need three more. And this upcoming level is the one I mentioned earlier that's about four minutes long. And this one, I have about an hour and a half of footage of me failing at the level. But I'm gonna show you guys the one in which I won. I should also mention that that's an hour and a half of footage that I recorded. I also practiced this level without recording for hours. And if I would have beat it and gotten the relic, I would have just screen captured it anyways and voice over it like this anyways. <sighs> oh, and there's no game volume in the background. I'm not sure what happened, but that won't happen again. I apologize. Okay, back at this point, waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, it was such a waste of time there too. Run, 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 this is the hardest part, oh my god, alright, this part isn't too bad, this part is so hard. Bottom goes that day. Oh my god, I don't even know what comes after this. I've never gotten this far. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I almost overjumped it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that wasn't too bad. That one. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make that. Oh my god. I made it! Oh my god, oh my god, is this good? Platinum! Oh my, all I needed was gold! Oh, that took so long. I've been on this level for hours, bro. Hours. Two more. Damn. Honestly, the second to last relic really was no problem. I literally only have seven minutes of footage for this level because I got it done within like 10 minutes. And here it is. Made it. Gold? Gold? That would be the quickest gold. Yes! That's the quick. Yeah, that took me six minutes. <laughs> That's it. Six minutes. So I don't even know what to say. One more. One more. So finally, here we are at the high road, the last relic that we need. This is the level that is the reason why I took four years to get the platinum trophy for Crash Bandicoot. Needless to say, I had trouble. Uh, it took too long. Bro, it's the beginning. Are we serious right now? Are we kidding? Are we kidding? I was halfway done. And then this jump right before this turtle took me so many tries. I think I could have just made that too. I even questioned if I was doing it the right way, if it was even possible. Can I not make that? I swear I could make that. Okay, here it comes. Oh, 
I have to, no, that first jump, I have to go on the rope. Bro, I can make that jump right there though. Finally, I got past that jump and I needed to do a rope jump. What? No way, bro. I was like 20 seconds away from, I was like 20 seconds away from winning. I wasn't even close, bro. Like what? And again, I made it to that same point about 20 seconds from winning. No way! Oh my god, I can't help but smile, but... Oh my god. Honestly though, failing right there made me more confident and I knew I could do it. Oh no. <laughs> 102, that's good enough, right? Oh my god, I think I, I did it! Oh, I need to see that platinum plot. I need to see that platinum. Yo, get my name out of here. I need to see that platinum. The Intrepid Crash Bandicoot. We did it. Yo, I got that level done quicker than Sunset Vista. Sunset Vista took me hours.